Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Do you know that in this AI world, you can create 3D website without any coding? Yeah, you heard it right, with not a single line of code. Nowadays, with no code applications, it is possible to create even 3D website without any coding. I'll be using Dora AI to unleash the power of 3D web design. In recent past, creating 3D website was a nightmare because it requires a lot of coding skills. Today, we'll explore this new cool AI tool, which is Dora. Dora AI is an amazing platform where you can create like uh, 3D websites uh, really easily. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. All right, so in this particular video, what we're going to do, we will be converting this Figma style. Okay, this is the website design for a cycle store. You can see right over here. Okay, we will be converting this Figma design into like uh, the 3D website with the help of this cool, amazing tool, which is Dora. Okay, I'll provide the link of this web design in the description of this video as well. If you want to use it, you can use that as well. Okay. So first things first, what you need to do, you just need to click on this complete thing like cycle haven web design this complete layer which contains everything then you need to go to the resources tab under the resources tab you need to navigate to the plugins and here is the plugin which we will be using like figma to dora it helps you to copy all of this stuff from here then you can paste it on the dora platform okay so if you just click this thing so you see that it's copying all the layers and it's done. Okay. You just need to click on this copy to clipboard button. Yeah. You can see it has copied 174 layers and now I can simply paste them inside of the Dora. Here I am on the new project in Dora. Okay. So first things first, you need to make sure that your height of this complete thing okay your website matches with the height of like this dora canvas okay so what you need to do you just need to click on this viewport you can see that its height is like 200 vh but what we need to do we just need to like uh, make it to like 5772 now i think that's fine yeah after setting the height you just need to paste your content here okay it can take like up to a minute or two to actually make this content visible in here. So you can see that imported Figma layers and you just need to bring it to. So all right, you can see that our layers are successfully imported. This is our design and it seems really great. Okay, so first thing first, what I'll do, I'll simply click on this image. Okay, and then I can just simply connect it to like this thing viewport top and i think i should bring it to like down or probably somewhere in the middle okay so yeah now it's looking really nice uh maybe a little bit more to the down here here it seems great okay so now what i need to do i simply can preview my website from here to see how it's looking so yeah this is how our website is looking it looks really great and amazing okay so the next thing we need to do is we need to import a 3D model, okay? So to download different 3D models, what you need to do is just simply come on to this website, which is Sketchfab. They have like a lot of different 3D models for you. Uh, so if I just go back, this is just one category, which is like of cars. You can enjoy multiple 3D models in this thing. This is a cool website which has cool 3D objects which you can simply import inside of your Dora. Okay. So here I can search for like cycle. Make sure that you just click on like this thing which is animated and downloadable as well. Okay. Let's say bicycle. Okay. Yeah. I'll download this thing which seems really great and awesome and it's free. Okay. You can download the paid ones as well, but it's totally up to you. You can see that the cycle looks like this. Okay. So you just need to download this model uh, from here. Click on download 3D model and make sure that you download in GLB format. Okay. This is the thing which is acceptable inside of Dora. You just need to click on this button and your model will be downloaded in a while. 
yeah you can see that the model has successfully been downloaded okay next thing what you need to do you need to import the model inside of this thing which is like dora okay so what you need to do you just simply need to click on this thing and create a new 3d pan okay like this it's done connect it to the viewport top so that if you scroll down it always remains on the top it should stick to the top okay so now you need to import your 3d model click on this button upload your downloaded file like this thing click on open and it will take a while and will import the model for you you can adjust your camera from here like this you can see right over here if you want to zoom in you can do that as well okay it's totally up to you how you want to organize your model in here okay so here is the 3d widget you can see right over here okay uh, this is how your bicycle is looking okay so if you just uh, refresh your page once more your model should be visible here okay you can see right over here it's not working uh, we will make it working in a while so to bring your model to life you just need to click on this thing like cycle.glb and then click on this 3d animations okay now you can see that your cycle is working okay like it's moving you can adjust the camera according to your needs okay and now to make it look good what you need to do you need to work on like viewporting and stuff okay so for that what you will do you just need to simply click on default camera okay and here you can add the keyframes so if you move this thing you can see that the 3d model should slide down okay like this if it's sliding down then you are good to go and if you're not then you just simply need to connect this thing to the viewport top otherwise it won't do that so to make it look good what you need to do you just need to follow these settings which i'm performing here first of all you need to add a keyframe on zero okay that's done then the next keyframe probably around 38 add a keyframe here and you need to do these settings yeah you can see that the cycle is coming all the way from here and it's leaving the space so it's looking really great okay uh, the next keyframe I'll add around like 60 add a keyframe here and now you need to do these settings like uh, elevation 353 and this thing are around like 12 so now you can see that your cycles leaving from here okay so it would give really nice effect next keyframe I'll add around like 145 probably okay add a keyframe here distance would be like uh, 5 elevation 367 and this thing around like minus 110 okay yeah one keyframe I have to add in here as well yeah the next keyframe I have to add in like on 177 okay add a keyframe here and then what I'll do I'll simply adjust the values accordingly like distance would be 3.63 elevation would be 366 and this thing would be around like 84 minus 84 okay so now you can see that your cycle is like going a little bit onto the top okay maybe I can move it a bit down now it seems really nice okay yes yeah the next one i'll add on like 245 this would be like 343 and this one would be plus 30 so now you can see that how it's going yeah it's like looking really nice okay next one would be on exactly 300 this would be like minus 36 in this case okay now it's looking really nice okay and the last one I'll add probably on 375 okay and this one would be now minus 74 okay yeah look at this how cool it's going from here to like uh, outside of the frame so yeah it's all done for now okay for this video probably so yeah if I just simply play this website to show you like how it's looking now like the final version of our this 3d website okay let's look how our final website will look like so this is the thing which will appear when a user will come onto your website okay if you scroll down the animation would change 
So on this thing, it will move like this, like out of the frame. On this thing like this, okay. On the third one, it will like go in this way. And at the end, it will just move uh, from left to out of the frame. So yeah, that's it. So I hope you like this video. Kindly give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos on these topics. Till then, have a good day. Bye.